Hello friends, look, this is what I look like when I'm like ready for the day. And I've done my hair. I had a good day of hair for church yesterday. We did not film Halloween yesterday. I just didn't want to. I had already filmed like three or four Halloween parties and I'm editing the Haunted Forest video right now. It's taken me a long time to get all the phone footage in because no one would hold my, this camera. But we're in a bit of a predicament this morning to start our day. It's actually like one. What time is it? We're like, yeah, it's already 12.30. Let me take you up to see what our predicament is. Jason has the day off and I haven't gotten done nearly everything that I wanted to get done by now. I'll show you what our predicament is. Jason is out running errands because I can't go with him, which is fine. Sometimes we waste time going together. But here's my predicament. Oh, someone doesn't feel good, but you're going through all your candy. What a trashy room. This little girl is sick. I hope you're not eating that candy. Are those all full-size Twix? One full-size. Wow. I got this. Our neighborhood loves. Look at this trashy room. <laughs> Okay, but you're not eating it, right? Because it hurts to eat it. Are you drinking your water? Yeah. Okay. I want you to get back into bed soon, though. Promise? Okay, you're going to put all that back in your bag, right? And then get into bed? So, that's our predicament. <laughs> that she started to have a scratchy throat, just like Abby did. And it was about five, ten minutes before she went trick-or-treating last night and I just saw the look on her face and I was like, Jason, you're going to need to go with her and bring her home early because she's not going to make it. <laughs> sure enough, she wanted to come home before Chelsea did last night. Um, I gave her at nighttime cold medicine. My battery's running out if I conk out before I finish. Anyway, gave her cold medicine. She was in bed by 8 p.m. last night. Everyone was. Everyone came back early from trick-or-treating because it was a school night, but she slept until 11 o'clock today. So she's only been awake for an hour and a half, which is crazy, but she is sick. I think she just wanted to get out of bed and sort through her candy, but she's going to get back into bed. I need to get her hydrated and she doesn't want even applesauce. She's is exactly like Abby. Can't eat anything because the throat hurts so much. Jason and I are having to divide and conquer today, which is why he is out running his errands. He's actually trying to find a Christmas present for me. I'm like, you're not gonna find it in one trip to Costco, dude. <laughs> you gotta like take some time to think about this. We have two months, officially two months, to plan for Christmas. But we are gonna go on a date night tonight, which is gonna be really fun. We're gonna see the new James Bond movie. This is like the first date night movie that we have gone to, I think. I went to a few when I was in Utah this summer, but it wasn't like super duper. So that'll be fun tonight. Um, we're gonna have to like medicate her up and get her to bed early before we can go out, but the other girls will be home. It's a school night, so they can all be here, but I'm gonna finish editing and then we'll be back with you. So not really that exciting today until I get going. So a little bit of a dilemma today, being stuck at home when I needed to be out and about. <laughs> all right, Jason's on his way home. I just finished this video. I'm gonna upload it really quick. One of the things that we need to do today Something that stresses me out, especially after a holiday, just kind of clean up. I'm gonna gather up bags and Halloween costume stuff. And I did not decorate inside, but I put a few lights right here. I have the cauldron that needs to go to the garage. And then I have outside stuff to go and clean up. Jason's gonna come home. I'm hoping he'll help me. I've got their Halloween bags, some extra glow sticks here. That's Halloween costume stuff. I'll just go ahead and I'm making a Halloween costume pile. We need to pop the balloon and take the hat off. That's Chelsea's sweatshirt right there. Just needs to get hung up, maybe washed, I don't know. But that's my next step after I've finished on the computer there. Ooh, it's cold in here. I try and keep this room cold actually because when I'm doing laundry I get hot. So I try not to heat this room. Anyway, I am going to get ready for when Jason comes home. We're gonna go out and take, out, take down all the lights. Last night was really fun. I do regret not filming it because, only because we live on a hill. I can't get this on while I'm talking to you guys. We live on a hill and we're just out of sight from all the kids that are walking on the sidewalks down below us. They can't really see our street very well. And so we've been stringing lights out over the sidewalk to a tree 
so that they can see the lights from down below and then they know that to come up and come trick or treat at our house. But there's only like three or four houses that have ever given out candy on our two streets, like up and down our streets until this year. And our neighbor, <laughs> I wish I had shown you last night. I think he's taken most of it down. And obviously I can't show like their address and stuff. He had like a skeleton in the trees. Yeah, and he went all out. The oldest son, I guess, he's like 20, I think. He loves electronics and making gadgets and stuff. And he had a little skeleton sitting in a bucket and it had a pump on it. And the skeleton was like drinking blood out of a beer can, basically, or a beer bottle. But the pump would circulate the water through and then they had music and he had like this a robot um, pirate head attached to the top of their house that he could control from inside the house. And so we just told him, we're like, okay, you brought the A game and brought the crowds to the na to the street for the first time. They come to our house. They've always come to our house, but then they scurry right back down the hill. So next year we're like, okay, let's do like a pirate battle or something and like have smoke bomb, like bombs going off and like battle each other across the streets. I just think that'd be kind of fun, but I'm going to go out and take down our lights and maybe Jason's here. Say hi. You want to keep your shoes on and come help me take the lights down outside really quick? Not exactly, but sure. <laughs> There's the honest answer I got on camera. <laughs> Went to Costco and got some multivitamins, I see. <laughs> and some toilet paper. And some toilet paper and Swiffer wipes. Swiffer wipes. So Kaylee can mop, finally. On the floor, our stomachs, and our asses. You pointed to your head <laughs> when oh. you said that. <laughs> I mean, if you want to call yourself that, if you want. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> that was funny. You fighted right at your face. Let's go outside and take down Halloween decorations. Very anxious when things are not kind of put back together. I also secretly want to start decorating for Christmas. But I'm trying to prep. I'm trying to get the house kind of cleaned and work on a few projects before we actually decorate so that it's ready to go. No one wants the almond joys. Like, ever. <laughs> Save that sucker for Ashley. Seriously, these are always left behind. Oh, I forgot. Grandpa got, gave us all these decorations this year, so I've got to take these guys down. And then this is all trash. We'll just throw the spider webs away. And then we put lights on the tree here. I literally didn't even take photos of any of it last night. I told Jason that the little leaf blowers are coming, and he should hurry and rake up some of these leaves and just rake them to the sidewalk out here so that the leaf blowers can come and like take them all away. He's not really buying it. Maybe he's getting a rake, but we got our piles of all the cobwebby stuff. Yeah, our HOA is probably gonna be like, everyone needs to rake. All right, your room is a little bit cleaner. I'm letting him keep the Ford up for a little bit. Here's some, a vitamin, Flintstone vitamin. <laughs> I know. And then a cold pill, okay? Do you need a box of tissues? Or is it not really runny anymore? Just water him. Start drinking this, okay? And then lay back down. <laughs> Cast problems, right? Climb back in bed, okay? Alright, I've talked about this before, but I, our Target, especially the ones that are in charge of the dollar spot, don't do a good job with their displays and their product stocking. <laughs> so, I have come to a different Target. This is not my Target. And I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to do a Target Christmas dollar spot haul video. But I really like to be able to show other things that are at the dollar spot that I don't buy that you guys can see and decide if you want to go and make the effort to go to a Target. Sometimes you guys have to drive a little bit to get to a Target and so you have to like know if it's worth the trip. Totally get it. So I drove a little bit further to a Target that I know has done a better job at their displays and you may get little sneak peeks of the stuff here if it does good but I will be doing a Christmas video soon.
soon and you're probably wondering why are we doing Christmas on November 1st one because I'm already like jumping to Christmas <laughs> I'm already, like getting ready for Christmas two I'm a I'm a week ahead hopefully a little bit more than a week as I get these videos going it gets me a little bit further ahead and two because I'm ahead in my videos schedule wise date wise if I didn't start doing these videos until December I wouldn't be posting them until like the 10th 11th 12th 13th of December which is way too late to be doing Christmas stuff you can keep doing Christmas stuff Christmas vlogs and whatnot into December but you can't start them in December you gotta gotta like especially with like decorating and where to buy things like I'm doing you guys a favor by doing it now one to help you and two because I just like Christmas and once I get into the mood for Christmas it's game on so let's go into Target mm -hmm. I knew I picked the right target. I did. I'm gonna show you, um, hmm. I picked up a few more things here. I'll show you one thing. But then you have to like come back for two things. I'll show you two things. Because one of them I've been wanting to get something like this on Amazon. Just like eight bucks. I'm like, do I really need it? But they have these little wrapping paper cutters. So we'll see if they, <laughs> this one's not even like, you can't even tell they didn't even like get this little part attached to the cardboard correctly but I will tell you um, if that works maybe I'll try it out and see if it works and let you know so you know if it's worth a buck versus the they have like one that fits over the top of an of the wrapping paper and you know then it will like cut it across it but we'll see see if that one works then the other one I got are these little bags a lot of the times the dollar store will have these but they're like colors that don't go with my colors it's not the right red I'm really weird it has to be the right red and other times they have like blues and it's like a scene and I don't do any of that kind of stuff but this is like literally Santa's bag can you see that so I don't have the items that probably will go in these I got two of them but I have to get two of these items to go into those bags so I know I'll need something to put them in so I'm just kind of putting the cart before the horse <laughs> all right so that was very good they did a really good job in their dollar spot I don't know why I'm actually gonna ask my friend who's an HR manager at our location and ask why they struggle so much at ours and just tell her like I know a lot of people who are like me and who will go to another location they're losing business by not being up to date and keeping it nice but kids are gonna be home from school Chelsea's probably already home I'm gonna get home start dinner so that they can get they're not gonna be able to play outside it's now raining and I want them to go to bed on time tonight we didn't have a late night last night but there was a lot of sugar a lot of excitement a lot of adrenaline and with Ashley sick and us leaving to go out tonight I want to have things really calm for the next two or three hours before we leave so that they can just carefully and casually and calmly go to bed that's my goal Your nose isn't running anymore, right? But your throat is hurting worse. So we haven't really had anything to eat today, huh? Doesn't feel like it. So what are you doing right now? Looking at Christmas stuff. She's making her Christmas list. She got paid today too for her little scan. You're rich. Your Christmas list is a poppet bag, a squash mallow, a big plushie, moon sand, Slime. slime. I don't know, but Santa might not let slime in a hoverboard. You've been asking for a hoverboard, but I don't know about that one either. That might be next for Mom. The comfy original Junior is like a big cozy because apparently you like cozy things. Correct. Right. That's the slime. What? What is that? It's slime. Oh dear. I thought we were over the slime. I agreed. Moon sand. So I've just been editing and getting some footage in, working on my mail. Her check came in from doing her scan, so she's $75 richer. I mean, what eight-year-old kid 
like, you know, gets lucky with a $75 check in the mail. That's pretty lucky, huh? Tolling, telling her to save most of it. She can buy something now if she wants to, but. Jason went to help our friend take down the haunted forest. And I just finished that video. But he's doing that until six o'clock. What time is it? I need to it remind five, him. Like he has 40 it. minutes and then he's gonna come home and we will head to our movie after we have a little bit of dinner. I don't think you're gonna be eating dinner at all, huh? We've got one more week left. A week and two days left on this, right? Besides her, we're kind of having to, well, the other kids are home now, so I could leave, but I don't have anywhere else to go. But I hope you're doing okay tonight for bedtime. I got her some cold medicine, and did that work last night, giving you the night pill? Kind of. You didn't really wake up a lot. It just... You usually come I into... Get, I had to go to the bathroom like many times because my nose was running, so... Okay, we'll get you a box of tissues tonight. But she slipped into 11, so... We'll see how you feel tomorrow. Abby was doing a little bit better on the second day, second, third day. So we'll see. Okay, we haven't done like a date night in a long time, huh? No. I mean, I guess we did a date trip. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to see the James Bond movie. It's, what is it called again? No Time to Die. No Time to Die. I'm very excited. I haven't seen a James Bond movie in theaters for many, many years. So I'm looking forward to going. Ashley still feels pretty cruddy. I'm, she's in the shower now and I have a nighttime medicine for her when she gets out. And hopefully she can just, she doesn't want to eat. She doesn't, barely wants to drink. She's only drinking because I'm making her drink. So I'm kind of hoping she just goes to bed with her water and stays there at least until we get home. Um, but I'm hoping she just passes out and can get better by getting rest. I'm hoping she wakes up tomorrow morning with more of an appetite. I think she's gonna be pretty starving when she gets up, so. Yeah, anyway. Abby did that. She yeah, but Abby knew she needed to drink. So she was very hydrated and she, Ashley just doesn't even want to drink. Ooh, someone has their Christmas lights up. Yes, those are my people. All right, we'll let you know afterward how the movie is and if we suggest going. We try to get our friends to go with us, but it's a Monday night. It's pretty difficult to get people to go out on a Monday night, but anyway, especially uh, like the day after a holiday. So yes. <laughs> this is how we do it. So we'll let you know how it goes. Scan to get the code. Mm-hmm. Or then you have to select or something? Code zero. Oh, oh can I do code zero vanilla? Let's do this. Hold. Oh, okay, so then I set this. Yeah. And push the button there. Oh. Oh wow, it's from your phone? Yeah, they don't want you to touch the screen. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. That's... Never seen that before. Oh, no, that one's new. But it looks like the good old icy machine is old fashioned. Push and go. Excellent, I thought. I thought it was very really good. good. I thought it was really good. It was like good. true James Bond. Da -na 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 -na. Daniel Craig is. <laughs> it was good. I really, really liked good. it. Daniel Craig is one of my favorite Bonds, Sean Connery. Don't like it that it's the last one with him. No, I mean, they always have to rotate, but it's sad. Yeah. But, uh, really good, really good. He just does it so well. Well, they took it back to the books where it was more gritty and more real, and he yeah. bleeds. And he 
gets messy and yeah super good um i did find it interesting with the soda machines that you had to like do it like digitally to like fill your drink i've never i've never seen that yet i haven't seen that either that was kind of cool but kind of annoying because i went to get a refill and i almost forgot my phone i couldn't have gotten it without my phone ashley is still awake i think maybe she couldn't swallow the pill because her throat hurt too much oh, so i'm kind of worried i haven't heard back from her so maybe she actually got it to swallow and fell back asleep but i think we've got a little bit of a night trying to get her to sleep so um i have an idea of something that i'm kind of got in the works got approval from him today so stay tuned if i get it to work then watch for a future announcement that might be kind of fun for some of you but i asked you today that I, if I could do it. Oh, you've he's struggling. Me, you've he's struggling. Me, you've asked me many oh. things. Remember, I asked you if I could sign up for something. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to learn the announcement just along with you guys because he can't remember the conversation that we had. So stay tuned. And uh, you are most likely going to see Christmas pop out here on my channel pretty quick. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.